at, at the time that we put Split Image out, I had been at ESPN like maybe four years, so I'd done a number of articles. And I can tell you that every other article I'd ever done, I don't remember, ev I don't remember getting a single email from someone who read the piece. Not that it didn't get read to some degree, but there was a disconnect between people thinking it was a personal topic and they could connect with the writer and it was important enough for them to reach out. And when Split Image came out, I was like inundated with hundreds of emails. And the surprising thing about all of those emails, beyond just the fact that they existed at all, was that almost all of them were written by high school and college kids. And many of you here, I'm sure, work or know many high school and college kids, and they're probably not emailing journalists very frequently. <laughs> and that was surprising to me, because I had worked in this industry, and I don't remember getting an email from anyone under the age of 40, honestly. They were usually 55-year-old dudes who wanted to talk about football or the NBA. So here were all of these emails. And God, these kids just, their, their precision with how they read the article and how it reflected on them was almost overwhelming. There were so many emails that were like, I see myself in Maddie. There were multiple people emailing saying, I am Maddie, but I'm still alive. And beyond that, they had so many questions. We had focused on one aspect in split image, you know, this technology piece. We hadn't really gotten into achievement culture. We hadn't gotten into the pressures of being an athlete or being anyone pursuing anything at a higher level. We hadn't gotten into college counseling. We hadn't gotten into the transition to college. So there were all these things that these kids had questions about, like, well, how do you see this? How did this impact her? Here was my experience as a baseball player, you know, and why I left baseball. And so as I started to try to reply to these emails, it became very clear that there was a lot more to be said. And it became very clear that in some way we might be able to use Maddie's story to try to explain, not that you're ever gonna fully pin it down, what's happening with our young people today. You know, and all of you sitting here know, but when I say what's happening with our young people, I mean why the rates of anxiety, depression, and suicide are higher than we've ever seen 